What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in today's video, we're going to talk about an extension that allows you to quickly align faces within your SketchUp models. So before we get started, I want to say a big thank you to my newest supporters on Patreon. So big thank you to Kevin Higgins. Glenn Callahan, Edson Mafuz, Jono Moles, and Avi Chalid. Patreon is most of you know is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, maybe you want to support the show, um, get to vote on the extension that I cover every week, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. So this week, my patrons voted, and they voted on another extension from Christina Inneroth, Inneroth Align Face. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Inneroth Align Face. Plugin developer, Christina Inneroth. Plugin cost, it's $15. Where can you get it? You can download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse. I will link to this extension in the notes down below. So one of the things that can be a little bit frustrating inside of SketchUp is sometimes if you do something like extruding an object along a path, like this one, you can see how these faces don't stay straight up and down inside of SketchUp. So like for example, you can see how if you wanted these to be just straight up and down merged with the face, that wouldn't work. So if I was to draw a face right here, you can see how because of the way the follow me tool works, it rotates this face as a part of the follow me process. So this isn't really, um, this isn't really straight up and down on this face anymore. Well, what this extension allows you to do is it allows you to select a face so if I activate align face, I can click on the face that I want to align, in this case this one, and then I can click on an object that I want to align the face to. And you can see how that aligned this face really quickly with this other face. So I can do the same thing over here. So you can see how this is a really quick, easy way to align different faces so that they kind of have the same X, Y plane. And you can see how it also adjusted the geometry to match when we did that. So that means you don't have to mess around with the uh, rotate tool or anything like that to get things to line up. It just does that automatically for you. And so that can be really good for like uh, aligning with off axis objects. So like for example, if I have this off axis kind of curve or a uh, turn face or rotated face right here, and I wanted to align this object with that, all I would have to do is just click on this face and then click on this face. And you can see how as I do this, this will kind of move the object down so that it's in a straight line with this plane. But what you can do is you can click on this face and you can hold the shift key. That'll lock your inference. So you can move this up and down like this. So I can lock my inference so that it, um, so that it'll uh, align this face without moving it down so that it's not in a line here. So now, if I wanted to, I could just come in here and push pull this face and everything's kind of aligned. And so you can also do this with other faces like this one. So if I was to click on this and I wanted to align this face, you can see how I can do the same thing. So I can take this object and I can align it with this face really easily. So this can also be valuable for other areas where you have like slope faces. Like for example, let's say that you had, let's imagine this is a full house, but let's say you were building this addition, you wanted this face to line up with this face. Well, what you could do is you could just click on this, or you could activate the tool, click on the face, and then you could click right here. And you can see how what that does is that'll take that face and it'll move it up and it'll align it. So, and you can see how that made that little extra geometry piece right there, but I was able to just erase that right back out. And so you could also do that with just a starting plane. So if you just wanted a plane that was aligned with this face, you can see how I can select that plane using the tool by clicking on align face, clicking here, and clicking here. So that can also be useful, like for example, if you have something like a window, like something like this, and you were to activate align face, Let's say I wanted this to have the same slope as the roof, so I wanted this to line up. You can see how I can align that face to this object, and then I can hold the shift key in order to uh, in order to move that up and down so I can get the same thickness that I want in here. And so let's say, for example, that I had some kind of like a window trim piece or something like this. Um, if I was to select all of these edges, and then extrude this along those with the follow me tool, you can see how these wouldn't align with the slope of this object down here. And uh, so what you can do is you can use align face in order to take that and align it. And you can see how that works really quickly. So I could do the same thing over here where I could just align that 
with this object really quickly. So again, you don't have to go in there and mess around at the rotate tool or anything like that. And then the last example is if you had something like, um, like let's say you were modeling some kind of a dormer or something like that coming off the end of this house and you wanted this to align back here. Because a lot of the time the way that I ended up doing this is I would come over here and I would draw a line here, I'd draw a line here, I just kind of manually draw the face in and that can get really annoying really quick. Well, if you were to use this tool, you can just click on a line face and a line here. You do the same thing right there. So you can see how it's really fast to align that with this face. So there are some functions in here where you can type in distances. Um, with the different faces, I honestly wasn't quite able to figure those out. So I'm not sure exactly how those work or anything like that, but I can definitely see the value in this extension. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Can you see the value in this extension? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.